Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hey, pardon, Brisson. We are going to start our gospel preaching here today. This is the fourth time I'm in Brisson. In the year of eight, uh, 2019. And um, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In the year of 2018, 21, 22, I had been here. Preach the gospel to everybody. <laughs> Today, the first time. Come on, come on, I go for it. Come on, I can pray for you. Come on, I go for it. Come on. Don't lose it, okay? You can, like, are you born again, right? What do you have to come and attend the church service? Huh? Are you attending the church service on Sunday? Okay, we got church on Sunday already then. We have church, you have. Oh, that's enough. Yeah, How are you everybody? Hello. Hey. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Bless you. So today, we are going to pray for the city right now. Pastor Glenn is with me. Pastor Glenn, please come. Amen. Amen. Pastor Glenn Amen. is with me, with us. We are praying one minute to everybody right now. Sister John, Amen. please here. We are officially going to stand this powerful word of God right now. Yes. Pastor, when will we pray you? Uh, a few seconds, one minute. Bishop, please come. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you today. We thank you for your love, your mercy, your grace. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you that you have made this way. You've made a way where there was no way. You have given us this opportunity that we can come as people and we can be saved from our sins and our trespasses and be given a brand new life. Lord God, I pray that there's somebody here in Brixton today who will hear the word of God and be saved and be changed from the direction um, they have been going. We thank you. We bless your name. We pray that that person who um, are, are in despair today, that they will come to know Jesus as Savior and Lord. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity that we have been given to share the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. We pray that by your power and by your grace, the word that shall be released into the atmosphere here in Brixton today will reach to the ends of the earth. That, um, yes, many lives will be transformed by your power and by your grace. That person who is hurting, that person who is without hope today, that person who is having so much challenges in their lives. I pray that by your grace that they will have found the solution today. As we say thanks to you, Lord, I pray that everyone who under the hearing of our voice, where they be they sick and, and in need of, of healing and deliverance, we pray that it will be provided for them today. Lord, have your way today. Let the name of Jesus be made manifest in this town today. As we say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray this session. After that, Sister Jennifer will be uh, preaching this, uh, singing the song. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this session right now. Thank you for your touching lots of souls here, raising up lots of revivalists, lots of revivalists from the city to the nations. Father God, thank you for sending your heavenly angels here for the protection for us. We apply the blood of Jesus Christ in our body, mind and heart and all the equipments which we brought here. We apply the blood of Jesus Christ on them. Heavenly angels, thank you. You are taking control of this session. Who is authority? Any of the devil's power is moving in the city, I take authority over all, all the serpents and scorpions, over all, all the powers of the enemy. According to Luke chapter 10 verses 19. And also, according to Matthew chapter 18 and 18, whatever I bite on this earth, it will be bound on this heaven. Whatever I lose on this earth, it will be lost in the heaven. Heavenly Father, we declare a mighty revival in the city. We declare mighty movement in the city. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare a powerful revival in the city. In Jesus' name. Amen.
Lord bless you. Sister Janet, please here. We'll be singing song. Please come. Clip anywhere. You can clip it, okay? Clip it anywhere. Pray the Lord. Good morning, Brixton. Uh, it is not an accident while we are here at, uh, this morning because the Lord is uh, just wanted us to remember that someone is caring for us. Jesus is caring for us. And whatever problem we are facing right now, there is a solution. Yes, some of you are not believing, but I am telling you that God is true. When uh, I, I reached here in... in in England, 2020, it's uh, the beginning of lockdown. I came uh, from the Philippines and I asked the Lord to bring the weather here, a summer. And that's why the Lord is showing to us that He is a miracle working God. He is answering prayer. So what God wants us is to have faith on Him because we are just a uh, tourist here on earth. One day we will die. So what we need is to remember that there is another life. That's why God is telling us, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have an everlasting life. So that's a, a, that's a, a word that God is reminding us that we are not permanent here on earth. So I would like to give a song of praise to the Lord.
in your presence my soul will wait for you father draw me nearer draw me nearer the beauty of your the gospel to everybody. Praise the Lord. Pastor Glenn will be delivering this powerful word of God to everybody right now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So God bless you, Pastor Glenn. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So good afternoon, Brixton. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We are here today to bring you the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. We are here today to bring you hope in a dying world. A world that is filled with so much chaos and confusion. We are here to bring you hope today by the power of Almighty God. Hallelujah. There is a very special um, word in the book of Matthew chapter number 6 and verse 33. The Bible says... We are to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added to us. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness 
and everything else will be added to us. If I ask you a question today, my question would be, what is it that you are seeking for? What is it? Glory to God. And if I were to ask you, I believe that the vast majority of people will tell me that you are seeking for happiness. You are seeking for prosperity. You are seeking for good health and a long life yes is that is it not that what you would tell me that you are all seeking to have a better life the problem is my friends that we are always seeking for a better life but we are seeking for this on our own terms in other words we are seeking for this the wrong way glory to god and not only that but you would have known by uh, by way of experience that you have tried it all and everything has failed it is true you would have tried everything and everything have has failed you would have tried relationships in order to find that happiness that you are seeking for and very often you met a companion and felt that this was it this was um the the, the, the relationship that was going to bring you happiness and glory to God and before long you found out that this was not the case because the very person that you thought that was going to bring you that happiness um, you found out that they were not what they um, appeared to be glory be to God glory to God and then um, many of us tried to find as much um, riches as we can we want to have a very good job so that we can um, you know earn a lot of money and buy a nice house and live on the hills and live big you know live 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 comfortably at least glory to god and and, and, and the truth is that we have sometimes done everything that is possible to get there and once you are there then you realize that it doesn't really work is there anybody under the hearing of my voice today you have tried relationship you have tried love and it, you have been let down it's true you have tried searching for riches and you have found it and some of you have even found it and when you did you did not find the happiness that you thought it would have brought you that is because there is something missing glory be to god hallelujah and some of you have set goals for yourself you have set yourself some really nice goals and some of which are very realistic but you have put everything in place and you did not account for the eventualities of life and as a result of this um, you have um, you know found that you with all the effort that you have made that you have failed you didn't really make it and on top of that the problem is that many of us when we found out that we were not going to find that which we are seeking for many more than often we turn to things like alcohol and drugs and just seeking for that happiness just seeking for that peace of mind just seeking for that missing part of you and the very first time you tried drugs it it felt good it felt that it was a wonderful experience and, and and after that now you start um, trying to find that experience again and and the more you take the more you realize that you are not getting that buzz that you really do need glory be to god and before long you are hooked i'm not throwing rocks at you i'm here today because i want to give you some good news glory to god that you do not have to turn to drugs in times of trouble you don't do not have to turn to alcohol it's important that you find your destiny and your purpose and this is one of the things that we want you to understand today we want you to understand that jesus loves you we want you to understand that jesus cares for you glory to god so you have tried everything you have tried um, 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 like I said, you've tried love, you've tried um, seeking for, for wealth and fame and fortune, and you have found that everything has brought you nothing. Glory be to God. The wise Solomon says, 
it, um, it says that it's like grasping for the wind. He says, I have checked out everything and I have found that it's vanity and vexation of spirit. So pretty much everything that you have done is nothing but vanity and vexation of spirit. And, and the wise Solomon says it's like grasping for the wind. Could you imagine just trying to get hold of the wind? Glory to God. And this is how many of us are living our lives, trying to grasp at the wind, trying to pin down the wind, trying to get hold of something that doesn't really exist in the way that you are seeking for it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It is nothing but vanity and vexation of spirits, says the good old Solomon of old. Hallelujah. And not only that, but many of us, I was watching a story uh, not very long ago, how a young lady um, went to Hollywood and her dream, she was very beautiful and her dream was to become an actress and to make lots of money and live big and when it didn't happen for her she turned to prostitution and as a result of her lifestyle she ended up dead because she had made some bad choices the fact of the matter is my friends it's vitally important that we make good choices that we make choices that will bring us life that will bring us eternal life so in our quest in our search for life it is vitally important that we understand it this way that without God there is no hope without God there is no hope the Bible says Jesus says that I am the way the truth and the life no man comes to the Father but by me glory to God so if you are going to have life you will not find it in your wealth you will not find it in your love life you will not find it glory to God in your job you will find it in Jesus Christ and if you don't know now because the Bible says except you repent you shall all likewise perish hallelujah glory be to God so we are bringing you hope today we are bringing you hope of salvation hope from turning away for turning away from the track that you have been traveling the very thing that you have been doing that caused you nothing but heartaches and pains glory to god we want you to understand that there is hope in god there is hope for you today there is hope for you today glory to god you shall be saved and find peace and joy and happiness in your life glory to god hallelujah glory to god glory to god so for of all the things that you have tried my friends that have failed you i'm here to ask you a question today so what is it that you need to do in order to redress the balance what is it that you need to do in order to redress that balance the book of proverbs number three and verses five to six says this he says trust in the lord with all your heart do not lean on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path every one of us needs direction for our path we need direction you cannot lean on your own understanding it will lead you into path of life that you never dreamed of lewis carroll the writer of alice wonder in um alice adventures in wonderland he said this the writer said this they said if you don't know where you are going any road will take you there any road if you do not know where you are heading and then any road will take you there that's why so many of you have been captivated by even religion because we have we have followed religion not god but religion and it has brought us to places that we live to regret i'm here to present to you today a better life a better hope 
because there is hope in Jesus Christ. There is hope in Jesus. There is hope. There is hope. Do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. If you notice that the Bible says we are to trust in the Lord. The word trust, what is it today you are putting your trust in? What is it that you are putting your trust in? Is that your, your boyfriend or your girlfriend or the drugs that you're taking? What is it that you are putting your trust in? Maybe for some of you, your trust is in your job. Glory to God. But I'm here today to give you a better life, a better hope, to offer you a better opportunity for a better life. Glory to God. Thanks, thank God for you receiving that in Jesus' name or for acknowledging. You, glory to God, need a better life. Your past experiences have told you that indeed you need something else. There is something else else that you are searching for and i am here i'm here to present to you today that that which you are searching for is jesus christ of nazareth glory to god the bible says except you repent you shall all likewise perish and i don't want you to perish today i want you to find salvation and hope in jesus christ let jesus be your guide, your answer. Hallelujah today. Glory be to God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. So I've talked about whom, to whom you are trusting. Glory to God. And many of you would have trusted all sources of life and have discovered that it just does not work it brought you nothing that is a fact you can say i am not religious or i don't want to know anything about god but the truth is you have trusted in some stuff that have brought you nothing hallelujah so i'm going to present to you today glory to god exactly what you need to trust in you need to trust in the lord you need to trust in the maker of heaven and earth. You need to trust in the one, glory to God, who died upon Mount Calvary to save his people from their sins. You need to trust in God because he holds the key to your life. In fact, it is he who has made you. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are the people and the sheep of his pasture. That's why the Bible declares that we are to enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, for his mercy endureth for all generations. Glory be to God. Brixton will be saved. It's imperative that Brixton understand that God holds the key to your life. Glory to God. Do not reject, do not um, turn your back upon this message today. There is hope for you. There is hope for you. You have done it all and it has brought you nothing. But I say to you today, glory be to God, that this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Glory to God. When you got that bad news from the doctors you need to find a place you need to find a source that you can turn to and i'm here to tell you today that god can be that source that source of life that source glory be to god from which you will find redemption let the power of god be upon you today so trust in the lord with all of your heart do not lean on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path you need direction for your path in jesus name yes you need direction otherwise my friend any road that you have taken with no direction will take you anywhere that's why a lot of us ended up in prison end up i'm um, having the wrong relationship end up um, um, working for the wrong people. 
and it has brought us nothing but pain glory to god but there's a hope in god there is hope for you sir there's hope for you yes you there's hope for you in jesus name i know you've heard it glory to god hallelujah glory to god trust in the lord with all of your heart do not lean on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path you need direction glory to god thank you you need direction for your path glory to god otherwise as some of us have already experienced that we ended up in the gutters of life because we need direction for our path hallelujah glory be to god so then the bible says how should you trust in god how should you trust in god you should trust in god with all of your heart many of us many people have been to churches and other places of worship but we have never met god because we do not trust him with all of our hearts many of us we trust him to a point we trust him to an extent but we do not always trust in the Lord with all of our hearts. We need to trust in God with everything that is in us. Yes, because we are not wise enough. We are not smart enough. We cannot figure out life without the inspiration of God. And I say this to you exclusively, my friends, that you cannot, you cannot by no means experience God if you are doing it half-heartedly. Many of you have tried and now you're wondering why is it that you've never made it. That is because you may have trusted in God, but only to a point. You were not living by faith. You were not living wholly by the word of God and you ended up feeling discouraged and confused as to why whatever it is that the Bible says you did not achieve it. I'm here to tell you today that what is necessary is that you trust in the Lord with all your heart. Not just part of you, but trust in the Lord with all your heart. Stop worshiping. Do the not, Lord do not, head, you, my friend, Jesus, my friend, I am not, I'm not, the African hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. Don't run away. Don't run away. You are, you are confused. You are, away. You are confused. You, I'm not serving, serving you any blue eyed. All right. You don't want to talk. If you want to talk, come come and talk. I'm preaching, but if you want to come talk, glory to God. You you need to hear the word of God. You need to hear the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Those of you who are confused by religion, religion has blinded the eyes of people. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So trust in the Lord, my friends, with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding in all of your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path you need direction for your path you need a source um you need you need you need jesus you need someone who can take you through the wilderness the rugged terrains of life yes it's true my friend you need a source that can take you through the rugged terrains of life you may say you don't believe in Jesus, but I'm telling you that it doesn't matter what you believe in. Your own experience have taught you that you need something else to guide you through the rugged terrains of life. Hallelujah. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Path. So that's what you need to do. And then now the Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33, the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek ye first, not last. Seek ye first. You have sought it all. You have sought for wealth and fame and fortune and it has brought you nothing. Glory to God. You cannot deny it. You can't deny that you have sought love 
and the person who told you that they love you they jilted you they failed you they caused you pain glory to god is anybody who will accept some truth today glory to god but i'm here to tell you today the bible says to seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you seek ye first the kingdom of god if you want to have true life if you want to have real happiness if you want to have peace in your life if you want to experience the joy of life i say to you to seek first the kingdom of god because let's face it none of us you may be healthy today you may be very fit but even as we speak cancer could be growing inside of you it is true isn't it brother it is absolute truth hallelujah and so you may come to that place where you recognize just just the matter of one day you may come to that place where you are made to understand that life is much more than you see because we do not walk by what we see we walk by faith glory to god all of us have to walk by 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 trusting in the future glory to god but you need to keep your hands in the hands of jesus because he's the only one who can lead you through those wilderness experiences in your life glory be to god trust in the lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path glory to god glory to god seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you in other words repent repent the, the real salvation message is one of repentance glory to god if you are going to find a different path for your life you've got to repent and this is not a religious concept because yes you've got to repent repent and be baptized by the power of almighty god hallelujah glory to god my friend is holy hallelujah seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all the happiness and the peace and the joy and the whatever else you're seeking for you will find it in christ jesus hallelujah there is no hope can't you see how miserable life is how miserable life appears to be every time you think that you have made it through you have been knocked back glory to god i'm, I'm 10 miles every step you have made you have gone back to glory to god because you need to seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you glory to god is there anybody who under the hearing of my voice today would like to say um preacher what shall i do to be saved how can i change from the direction i am going how can i be redirected because everything that i have tried have caused me pain everything has caused me pain i'm here to declare to you today that jesus christ is lord he is king of kings and lord of lords hallelujah glory be to god hallelujah glory to god so brixton may god almighty bless you May you who would have heard the word of God today that you would come humbly and bow at the throne of grace where you may be able to find grace and strength to help in times of need because the time is going to come when you are going to need God you may not think that you need him now but the time is going to come when you need God I went to a a, a, a cancer hospital to pray for somebody once and glory to God I, I, as I was praying for that person there was another man lying on a bed dying of cancer and I turned to him and I said to him sir would you like me to pray for you and he says please 
You see, I don't know anything about him. I don't know what his life was like before that moment, before he was um, captured by this um, miserable disease. But glory to God, when he was in that bed suffering from cancer, he knew that he needed an answer. He needed something more, something more than what he knew before something more than that which has brought him the life that he so desired glory to god there was something more there has got to be more there has got to be more my friends this life is much more than this it's much more than you see on the outside it's much more than you know i'm making a lot of money and making sure that you have a nice place to live life is much more than this Glory to God, because when the tire meets the road, you will need a shoulder to lean on. And I'm sorry for you in that moment if you have rejected God and you have no peace of mind, no place where you can find glory to God, where you can find God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we give you thanks today. We praise you for the word that you have released into the atmosphere today let Brixton be saved let uh, that person who have heard that word and has passed glory to God father I pray that you will release something in the atmosphere that will you know cancel every plan of the enemy the, the devil wants to destroy the lives of the people the devil wants to destroy you that the devil does not love you the only thing that the devil wants to do is destroy you and if you give him the chance, he will. The devil will destroy you. There is hope in God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There is hope. There is hope. You will not find hope in a bottle of beer. You will not find hope in a spliff. You will find hope in God. Hallelujah. There is hope. There is hope. There is hope in this dark world. There is hope for you. Remember that you will hear this voice again in your mind at least. Telling you there is hope. There is hope. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. May God Almighty bless you Brixton. I would encourage you to if you want to know a little bit more about us. We are New Life Transformation Ministries International. We believe that the gospel of the kingdom of God has come to all men. And it does not matter what things, what bad things you have done in your past, in your life before. Now is the time to do something different. Now is the time to make your calling on election sure. Now is the time. Yes, my friend, now is the time. Can't reject this, this moment. Glory to God. Now is the moment for you to say yes to Jesus. Say yes to Jesus. You will never regret it. You will live to give an awesome testimony because Jesus is the answer for all the world today. Above him there is no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him, there's no other. Jesus is the way. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So may God Almighty bless you. And I'm going to be asking our Pastor Jolly to be ministering to you today. In Jesus' name.